Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Elsa Frozen 2. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll see a link you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. It's also one for color, so you've got multiple choices. For now, those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and then we'll get started. Although, I mean, we're getting started by doing this quick sketch, aren't we? So, uh, I gotta rephrase that, I guess. Alright, so let's see what I can do here. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to uh, make, make her real. So. I'm not going to go for the Disney style, I mean, although it is going to look very Disney style or very uh, animated because it's not like I'm, you know, 100% awesome at doing real people, but I'm not going to do it uh, animated. That's the word I'm looking for, animated. So, so yeah, so right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to sketch out some kind of pose that's um, close to what I want to do. And uh, I'm trying to play around with ideas that uh, represent uh, Elsa, you know, but uh, um, show off the costume, you know? So I'm trying to think of a good, good uh, action pose, so to speak. All right, this is not too bad, this is not too bad. And I like that arm. Let's see, I gotta come in with this one. And I found pictures of her new costume. It's more of like, they're like cosplay pictures, you know, so you can you can make the suit. So it's kind of cool. It kind of gives me an idea of, of what the suit looks like this time. It's not that different, but it is, you know, so I have to uh, try to make it look good. Okay, so, okay, but you know what, also the problem is I'm starting to uh, sketch, or, or I'm, trying, I'm starting to finalize, and I don't need to do that, I need to sketch, because the thing is, if this doesn't look right, I'm going to have to start the whole thing over, so I better sketch this out and make sure it's where I want it to be uh, before I start to finalize. And by finalize, I mean, you know, add all the final detail where it's too late to move back. You know, I gotta, I gotta move forward. So, so let's see. So it would come down like that and open up. And I also have to, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, imagine, I guess. I idealize what it would look like in this pose because it's different now, it's a little shorter. Her dress is a little a little smaller here, as opposed to like a, fl a floor length, you know? So I've got to, I've got to uh, think about it. Mm, that's too long in that kind of aspect. You know, the, the, uh, the changed, Look, because, you know, I can't just draw the gown, you know? Okay, I think that'll work. Let me let me try to work on these feet. On the, uh, the look of it, because she's got boots on now. Pretty cool, right? So, I'm going to accent that a little bit. And then this one over here. I just realized, too, that I've got pretty thin because I got it based on uh, uh, the leg. And I need to um, <laughs> I was gonna say flesh it out, but what I really mean by that is I need to uh, um, make it bigger than it looks like like, like I've got it like on, on the leg, you know I, I, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I've got it like it's skin tight is the word I'm trying to say. And I need to um, give it some 
I want to say flesh. Well, I can't think of the right words. My words aren't working today. Um, and I need to bulk it up. Woo, there it is. That's the word I'm looking for. I need to bulk it up a little bit. All right, there we go. That's starting to work a little bit better for me. I'm happy with that now. Okay, so let's give her the belt like this. And let's see. Yeah, I'm real happy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna, let's see. How about her little flowing flappies? Um, she has like this, they look like wings, you know? Um, flowing back behind her. So I wanted to try to exaggerate those a little bit just to accent, just to have some fun, you know? Um, let's see. Okay, that looks good to me. So now let me finish this arm real fast. And I think I'm gonna have it kind of out. Like, uh, let's see, kind of like she's doing her powers, you know? It's a little bit far out, so let me bring it in a little bit. Like she's uh, um, making, making her frost, making her jingles. I, I don't know why I called them jingles, but her, her sparkles, you know, her, uh, um, her snow. Ooh, I'm telling you, my words aren't working today. I don't know what's going on, but you know what? That's why I'm an artist and that's why I'm not a writer. I don't have writing words. I just got image words. No, <laughs> I can, I can, I can make pictures pretty. That's, that's my skill, my forte, my raison d'etre. All right, that's not too bad. Hey, the trick is gonna be here, I'm gonna have to do it with a smaller Sharpie, is to try to keep it nice and thin because uh, the big Sharpies are just a little bit too big. Okay, so let me see what I can do here. Let me try to work on her face. See if I can make this work, make you happy, make us have some fun with it. Because, again, like I said, I'm going to try to do like a, a human face. So in other words, she's not going to have the big, huge eyes. She's going to have some big eyes. I'll make them big, but not, not super big, not Disney big. Just because uh, um, I got to... I gotta make it look, I gotta make it look like I'm my own. I gotta make it look like a won't, because this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Okay, so, that's not too bad. The other problem is, drawing this small doesn't work with these Sharpies. But I want to do it with the Sharpie so you can do it with the Sharpie. Like, I don't want you to have to buy a whole bunch of expensive supplies. I want you to be able to just grab what you have in the kitchen drawer, you know, or what you have in your little Sharpie uh, toolbox, you know? Let's see. <laughs> she looks like she's got a mohawk. I'm trying to make her hair... Uh, Let's see if I find another good picture of her hair. Her, her hair is very unique, you know. It's it's her own. So I wanna I wanna try to honor that and do the right image of it. And oops, it's a little too low. There we go. Okay. Something like that. And I gotta bring the, the, what do you call it? The ponytail off to the side here. And you know, I was just about to say, and, and ponytails are hard. There is no easy way to do a ponytail. But you know what, I'm wrong. There is, I'm sure it's out there. There are people making YouTube videos, and I'm sure that if you look it up, you'll find one because that's the glory of YouTube right now. You can look up how to do anything and you're gonna find people that are talking about it. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. I think we can get started. And, uh, and I'm ready to go. How about you?
So yeah, let's switch over. It's Sharpie time. Welcome to Sharpie Town, everybody. Population Fine Point and Sharpie Pen. I'll be using a Fine Point mostly, but the Sharpie Pen because it's finer than the Fine Point, and I can control the the width of the line much better. So I'm going to start off with this, and I'm going to start off with the lid top lids of the eyes just to make sure I've got it level to the way I have the head. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to draw the lid like that and then this one like that see if i've got them where i want them if it looks good i'm going to go forward if it if it's wonky or cattywampus i'm going to start over but i like it i think i'm happy with where i am so i say we keep going so now i'm going to draw the eyes or the retinas and then i'm going to draw a pupil inside there and again i'm being very delicate here because these bleed yours may not or you may be using a pencil so good luck with yours i'm just telling you what mine do and uh, i'm trying to be careful so because of that i'm not going to finish the eye underneath it's going to bleed too much if i do i'm just going to kind of come in like that a little bit with the sharpie and then draw like some makeup because again this is going to bleed too much into itself if i go any further than that Okay, look, let's see, that one bled into itself and that one didn't. So I'm gonna to try to cover some of this up just to make it look like the other side there and uh, see if I can make it work. So I'm gonna to try to work with, with what the Sharpies gave me. That'll work, I can use that. Okay, so now I'm gonna give her some eyebrows, just a little something like that. I'm gonna do the other side real quick. Something like that. Okay, and I'm not gonna do much for the brow, for the bridge because there isn't much. So I'm just gonna add a few little lines to imply, okay? Like that. Maybe one like this. And so now I'm gonna work on the mouth. And the mouth is just gonna, we're gonna make the, the slit for the mouth like that. Come in, do the top lip. Down to the bottom lip. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to do much more than that because, again, I'm afraid it's going to bleed. But every time I say that, I start to do more of it. And I, I jinx myself. So I'm going to walk away from that. I'm good with that. I'm happy with where it is. So now I'm going to draw her chin. Like that. And I thickened it up a little bit because I'm going to start to get to the outside, which this is going to come into play. And it's going to be a lot thicker. So I'm going to start to thicken up these lines just to try to match what's going on over here. And so now that I got that chin, I can do the side of the face here. Let's see, and she's got a kind of a roundish face, especially the way the, the Disney design is. So I'm just gonna round it off a little bit and bring that edge up. And I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna come around here to this side, to the ear that I made. Round it off a little like that, looks good, I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna do the ear here but I'm gonna stop there because it's gonna be a little covered up. Okay, there we go. And I'm happy with that. So I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of the hair. I'm not gonna do much, but I'm gonna do some because again, this Sharpie is going to bleed so much, the big fat one, that one. So I wanna to try to take advantage of, of being able to use this small Sharpie while I can. Okay, sorry I went quiet there. I'm trying not to go quiet on you. But uh, sometimes I start concentrating and I forget where I am. I forget what I'm doing. Okay, and so now I'm kind of playing around with the, uh, the, the, the sketch that I did. So I know where it's going to go. So I can play around with a little bit of extra lines just to... Uh, uh, add hairlines. I don't want to draw all the hairlines. I do, but I'm not going to, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Absolutely, I want to draw all the hairlines. It's so much fun, right? But uh, I'm not going to. Okay, so let's see, how else can I do this? I'm going to come over here like this, do one of these. And, and the trick to hair is sketch. You know, there is no, this is how you do it. You just got to practice. 
Like right now, I'm just kind of throwing lines in from where I did the sketch, and I'm getting lucky because it doesn't always work out like this. Not always. And uh, it, it sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but that's because of a good sketch. If you sketch and you're happy with it and you plan, you start with a good plan, it's gonna come out right. Okay, so let's work on that braid. So I'm gonna do one line like this. And let's see how I can do this. Like that. And again, uh, there's got to be a good way to do this. I'm just kind of guessing by what I think it looks like. But I bet you anywhere there's somebody out there that does a YouTube tutorial about the, the, the secret to making a good braid. You know? Like I said, I'm just kind of imagining, okay, well, this line's going to go through there, this one's going to wrap over there, and this one's going to hang there. And then I'm finishing it up. But I bet you anywhere, there's got to be something. I'm going to go look it up too. Not right now. I got drawings to do. Okay, I'm good with that. So I'm going to switch over to the big Sharpie. And so I'm going to uh, start drawing the outfit. And that's the nice thing about her is most of it's just, it's, it's all the outfits. We get to just have some fun here. So I'm going to draw her neck down and I'm going to draw the top of her uh, dress. And the the inside here is going to have like a, a plunging neckline is what it's called. And she's got the under uh, clothing, but that's mostly ice looking stuff. So we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to draw the dress. Okay. And then we'll come back in and uh, add the uh, the color uh, or the, uh, the under clothing with color. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's go on this side over here. So I'm going to do this shoulder come down the arm like this, add a few little bumps because I'm going to add some creases. I'm going to add the back of the sleeve like this to the elbow. Bring the elbow in to there. And I'll go ahead and show you. I'll do some, some, some creases and folds just to, you know, make it come alive. Just to show that it's, uh, it's got bends in the material, you know, because it is material. Okay, so now let's do this hand. And this hand I'm just gonna have up in a fist. You know, she's strong and defiant. So I'm gonna do the bottom of the hand like this into the pinky. I'm gonna draw the pinky up like this into that knuckle. I'm gonna draw this finger like that, this finger like that, then this finger up, because that way it's kind of like, how can I describe it? like this okay so that finger is kind of up so that being said the thumbs back behind it so we're just going to do like that that's it you can't really see much of it so we're just going to do that to finish it off and that hand is done so let's work over here to this hand uh, well let's go let's go down to her waist okay so i'm going to draw the coat to um the um belt i guess that's the best way to describe it i'm going to come out here like this I'm going to draw the belt up, come down a little bit, come back down, and then reconnect it over here. And that will give us good start-stop points. So now I can bring it over here like this. i come out a little bit for a breast. Then I'm going to draw the sleeve. Again, draw a little bit of bumps and creases because I'm going to add um, material folds. I guess that's the best way to say. Creases and folds, that's what I always call it. And uh, let's do the other side like this all right and since we're here let's add those creases and folds i was talking about just a few just to make it come alive you know nothing too crazy all right so now we're going to draw this hand and this hand i'm going to have just out like that because she's she's uh showing off her her snow powers you know so here's the back of the hand to the pinky like this and here's going to get tricky here because I'm trying to make it thin there's that finger there's the ring finger there's her index finger there's her uh, uh, sorry that was that was the middle finger and here's the ring index finger to the front of the hand to the thumb like that not too bad a little far out there a little long but that's okay 
And so now I'm gonna come back with this Sharpie and just fix a few of these things real fast and add a few details like that. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. There, that's good. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna connect where I didn't connect. Every now and then I like to fix some of my mistakes, make it work. Okay, so now we're gonna draw her dress and it's pretty much just a dress, so there's not much more we gotta do to it. We're gonna have some fun with it. We're going to draw her hips to the outside like that. And I'm just gonna kind of do one of these just to kind of, uh, you know, make it uh, flow a little bit, a little stylized. And then it's it, because it's a dress, it's, it, there's a seam that connects right here. And I've got one end hanging down like that. And go like this, and this is gonna follow her leg. Like this. And again, same thing, I'm gonna add just a little bit of, of, uh, of creases, just like that, just to have some fun. Um, all the color and all that stuff we'll take care of with later. And as a matter of fact, I kinda don't wanna do all the little tassels, I wanna do that with color. So I'm not gonna do that yet, but there are gonna be tassels hanging down from each one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna draw her leg here, and basically she's got leggings on, so all we gotta worry about is drawing her leg to where the boot starts draw a boot edge to give us a start stop point I'm going to come down to the back draw a couple of creases because that part where the ankle is there's a lot of folds in a boot so i'm just going to do it like that this is going to be her heel down and i'm going to draw a heel down to the toe like this bring the boot up oops i kind of wanted it like that add some more of those folds like i was talking about or those creases come back and do that heel like this and since we're here Let's add a few bumps, just like that, just a little something, you know, just to show that uh, it does bend there where the uh, ankle is. And I'm just going to fix a few of these little, little jaggedy edges. I can't turn my paper, so I have to try to get in these weird angles to make it fit. Like you can probably turn your paper and go nuts and go all kinds of crazy fun stuff, but mine's taped to the table, so I'm stuck with where we are. Okay, so let's draw this other leg over here. And this one's mostly covered by the dress. Um, so all we got to really do is draw a little bit of pant. And we're going to draw the boot right there down to this side. Again, more, more angles for the ankle. Ankle angles, that's what we'll call them. Draw ankle angles. Okay, so this one's going to kind of come up like this, and then we're going to add that heel like we did over there. Draw some ankle angles. And connect it up there. And so since we're here, let's just add a few like this. Something like that, that's probably too much. But hey, that's all right, it's ours, we're having fun with it. So I'm gonna draw the back of the dress that goes back there real fast. And then, last thing I'm gonna do is her little wing things that are hanging down, I'm gonna do with this small Sharpie, just so it's nice and thin, so it uh, is not as prominent as the first part you know, because uh, they're almost transparent, you know? And so since they're very wing-like, I'm gonna just have some fun with it like that. And draw this one up, flowing back up there like that, okay? So yeah, so I say we take care of the rest with color. I'm very happy with the way that came out. So that is Elsa from Frozen 2. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.